Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. We are back with another episode of Soul Silver Playthrough. Um, here's the Pokemon School. You don't have to do anything with that. Um, over here, if you actually talk to this guy, he is the teacher at the Pokemon School. Uh, battle Gym Leader. When you did, we haven't even battled him yet, so we'll just say no. A study, shall you? Follow me. And he'll basically just lead you to the Pokemon School. If you've never played Pokemon, go ahead, go in here, read up and stuff. But, yeah. You don't have to do that. Uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and battle the gym leader. So, this right here is the Violet City Gym. Um, these people specialize in flying types, which are actually uh, an interesting type, uh, especially for like an early gym leader. Um, if you start with Chikorita, you're going to want a rock type. Uh, either Geodude or Onyx here would be pretty decent. Uh, we're going to Screech and then throw some rocks. Uh, if you start it with Totodile, Totodile can hold its own. So can Cyndaquil. Uh, but if you're having trouble, there are some rock types for you. Uh, we're going to get hit with Leer. I don't, I'm not worried about that because of our great defense. Um, and Hasty's actually okay for us just because, um, you know, it helps out our speed. Onyx is actually a fast Pokemon. It's it's more for defense and speed than it is attack, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, we're gonna one shot the Spearow, and this guy up here will have some Pidgeys. So most yeah, all these Pokemon you've already seen before. Nothing's too out of the ordinary here. They're not too hard to face down. Um, we'll just go ahead and face down this Pidgey, which we did, we one shot after a Screech. I wonder how much Rock Throw does on its own. We're going to totally miss. We're going to totally miss. Uh, we're just going to do that again. All right, and I feel like this might be a two hit KO. It might not one shot. Ooh, that's a one shot. No crit needed. Okay. Okay. I'm okay with that. It probably did help. Probably did help facing those Bell Sprouts, and this is the thing that goes into um, EVs. Bell Sprouts. So when you battle a certain Pokemon and defeat them, um, you get something called EVs, and Bell Sprouts give you attack EVs. So that probably did help out Rocky. Um, uh, different Pokemon give different EVs. So if you face something that's, you know, I think these Pidgeys probably give either speed or defense. I could probably. Glance at that and f make sure. Uh, Pidgey gives. What does that give? I don't even say. Huh. Probably says somewhere, I just don't see it. Yeah, I think it gives speed or something like that. But anyway, here's Faulkner. He's the Violet City Gym Leader. And we're going to go ahead and battle him. So it's time to battle our first Gym Leader. And he's the Gym Leader of Flying Types. That goes into our question of the day. Who's your favorite flying type? Uh, I feel like mine is probably Lu probably Lugia right there. You know, see Lugia right there. I love Lugia. I also love Dragonite. Um, and I do love Pidgeot. Pidgeot, probably my you know, favorite you know, flying type that you use through most playthroughs. Uh, Rock Throw is going to one shot this level 9 Pidgey. And what I was going to say was he's got a Pidgey and a Pidgeotto. Level, uh, this Pidgey only knows Tackle and Sand Attack, which is kind of annoying Sand Attack. Um, but it didn't even get a chance to throw it at us. So I will take that. And next up is Pidgeotto. Um, we'll just stay in. There's no point in, um, you know, switching. So Pidgeotto knows Tackle and gust and roost and gust is going to give you some oh okay so like i was saying earlier um we're gonna if you've got a traded pokemon you might reach a point where they won't listen to you and we just reached that point with rocky so it's level 10 and it's not listening to us anymore great and now it's going to listen to us all right so this thing has tackle but gust is going to give you some problems if you start off with chikorita and you're trying to, you know, face this thing down with your Chikorita. It's not going to work out in your favor very well. 
Um, Roost is a move that it's got, and it's going to heal itself up. But we're going to easily just, you know, demolish this thing and finish it off. So, you know, it's actually pretty good right there. We're going to level up again to level 12, and I might just let Rocky sit back for a little bit. Just because I don't want it to get too leveled up. Because if it does that again, it's going to just not listen to me. Alright, and we got ourselves the Zephyr Badge. And we'll also get the TM for Roos. Right here, he's going, he's going to tell us, Pokemon traded up to level 20 will obey. So, that gives us 10 more levels. The Onyx will listen to us. Not the best, but, you know, I'll take it. So, yeah, and he'll give us the Roost TM. So the Roost TM is actually a really good move. Roost, it'll, like I said, heal your Pokemon up, and it's really good for flying types. Um, especially if you're using, like, a bulky flying type that can take quite a few hits. Uh, so now, as we leave the gym, we're going to get a, a phone call from Professor Elm. And he's going to tell us about the egg that he was researching. He needs us to go to the Pokemart. And pick up the egg so that's what we're going to do now let's go grab this egg that his assistant is here holding on to for us yes i will take care of the egg so basically what he wants you to do is carry this egg around and hatch it yourself so he can know what pokemon's in it um and how you hatch eggs you actually walk with them and as you walk with the pokemon the, the eggs they'll hatch over time I wonder if you can get repels now. <clears throat> um, yes, you can. And I will buy a few of these. That's going to come in handy. Especially... I don't want to get... I'll get 10. We'll just do 10. There we go. That'll be good. But anyway, now as you leave the Pokemon, there's going to be this mysterious woman here. This kimono girl. She's going to see us. The egg must be. I see. It was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm. Then Pro Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. The egg is an important egg. Please take care of it for me. Is that understood? And she'll spin around. I'm counting on you. And then she'll go down here. Which I don't know where she went down here. Because um, Anchor Cheek City is where all the Kimono Girls go. But anyway, now... Um, if we try to go down here earlier, there's you couldn't really go far. This guy right here would have stopped you. Uh, but you see this uh, patch of grass here. It gives you some Pokemon. That if you're having trouble with Violet City, you could use... Um, uh, the new Pokemon that you can find here is Mareep. Uh, and that will help you out quite a bit. You can also find Hoppips down here. They're not the best Pokemon. Uh, they're kind of not very powerful. And you can also find Whoopers at night. And this guy will also give us the Miracle Seed, which we don't even have a Grass-type Pokemon. Uh, the thing about Johto is there's not that many really great Grass-types. Uh, if you're using a Grass-type, it's either going to be your starter Chikorita, or it might be a uh, Victory Bell, and that's basically it. Uh, also, you can find Ekans here, if you're playing Soul Silver. Yeah, you can find that. That's weird. So apparently Ekans is only in Soul Silver, but they don't have another Pokemon to offset that for Heart Gold. I wonder if there's like a Pokemon later on that Heart Gold has that Soul Silver don't have on a different route. But anyway, we just keep going down. And eventually we'll come across some more trainers to fight. Uh Rocky's already too leveled up. I don't wanna I'll go ahead and switch Rocky out. I don't want it to get too over leveled because then it won't listen to me again. And I might need it for something soon. I might need it for something soon. I don't know. Um, but anyway, we'll go ahead and battle this guy right here. He's like, oh, I've seen you here and you think you're tough, don't you? I thought I was. Am I not tough? Well, anyway, he's got a Rattata. We're going to send out our Zuko. And Zuko's just going to throw out an ember, and it's going to be a quick knockout, because this is a modest Cyndaquil. 
Um, and Zubat, which this is our first time seeing a Zubat in this game. Um, it is a poison flying type, which is actually a pretty cool typing to have. But it, but early on, it's got terrible moves. Leech Life is basically what you're going to be relying on until you can learn other moves like Wing Attack. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and just continue south. Uh, and there's a cut tree up there that you can't cut yet. There's an item over here that you can grab. If I can get to it. I've got repels. What am I doing? Alright, this is the Mareep I was telling you about. If you're still having trouble with Violet City, get you a Mareep because Mareep will help out. And Mareep's actually a decent Pokemon to use um, on a playthrough. Alright, there's a repel. Just remind me what I need to do. And actually, if you're... Worried about your IVs, you know, your EVs um, on this. If you have a Cyndaquil, you can battle a bunch of Mareeps and that will boost your special attack up. So it might have been a good idea to just battle some random Mareeps. Alright, and we're going to battle this person here staring at the rock. Uh, this is Picnic or Liz. She'll actually try to give you her number afterwards, too. Um, and if I remember right, she's actually one that will actually give you like items i'm not going to do it right now because i don't remember off the top of my head if if that's true or not but i feel like this is one that would actually give you an item uh, i need to look that up sometime but anyway yeah we'll just take down the nidoran pretty easy and now it was simple I know she will rematch you sometimes. Oh, all right. So it's time to let Zuko evolve. And this is actually going to help us out a lot. When a Pokemon evolves, they get, you know, a boost in their stats. And Zuko is now a Quilava. So yeah, Quilava, like Cyndaquil, is best known for speed and special attack. Um. Nah. You, oh, you won't be my friend? I can, you can always go back and talk to them again. You've already said no. Uh, if you look up here, that's the Magnet Train. Uh, the Magnet Train cuts through Johto and goes all the way to Kanto. Um, so eventually that'll be a thing that we check out in the post-game. Alright, he's got a Nidoran Mel. And you're going to see that... You know, this thing doesn't stand a chance against Zuko. <clears throat> it stood a chance, actually. Um, I'm actually surprised it didn't get one-shotted. But anyway, it's not going to be able to do anything back. Um, double kick's not that strong of a move. It really isn't. Um, so we'll just finish that off. Now we'll just uh, go around here. Repel War off. Okay, and we'll just use it again. Um, in newer Pokemon games, you can automatically use the Repel again when it wears off. But in Gen 4, you have to go back and do it each time. Um, <clears throat> we got a Great Ball. Might come in handy. And there's actually an item up here, too. Um, that's Bullet Seed. We don't have a Grass-type to use it on. Uh, but it's. I feel like it's not the best grass type move especially for the pokemon you have here who yeah the pokemon that are here aren't really the best suited for physical grass type moves um i mean maybe if you've got bayleaf at this point you might have still have a chikorita but if you've got one of those maybe you can like take advantage of bullet seed which actually would be pretty decent against this Whooper, because I honestly don't have anything to face Whooper as of right now. Um, it might be a good idea to, you know, do something, but I'm, I don't really want to use a Grass type on my team. Like I was saying, there's not a lot of good Grass types in Johto. Um, grass types you've got, of course, is your starter Chikorita. You can try to use Hopip. Um, but Hopip's not the best, especially early on, because it the only moves it got is like tackle and splash. Um, as a jump bluff, it can actually do decent stuff because it's fast. 
but it, it just doesn't hit hard enough to do any real good stuff. Uh, Bell Sprouts probably your best bet, especially early on where we are right now. I'm gonna go heal up before I do any more battling. And this guy, I feel like in Gen Two, this guy would stop you and try to sell you poke, uh, slow poke tail, but he doesn't do that anymore. All right, and if you notice this fisherman here, let's talk to the fisherman in a little bit after we heal up. If you talk to the fisherman, yes, I want to try fishing. You can actually get the old rod. So the old rod, the only thing you can catch with that is magic carp. And you might be wondering why would you, why would you even want to do that? Uh, magic carp's a terrible Pokemon, but if you give it enough love and training, it will evolve into Gyarados. And Gyarados is one of the best. Uh, all right, let, I feel like there was an item up here. Yeah. That's not an item. Zuko, are you watching me make a fool of myself? I thought there was an item up there. It's not. But anyway, the old rod, get a magic carp. If you evolve it into Gyarados, it's actually a really good Pokemon. Um, and then we got three fishermen over here that you can battle. Um, I'll go ahead and battle this guy first. I don't really have a Pokemon great against them. But, you know, I'll go ahead and battle him. Uh, he's got a Poliwag. Uh, Poliwag is actually um, an okay water type if you want to use one. Um, it evolves into either Poliwrath or Politoed. I feel like out of the two, uh, I would probably go Politoed because it's got a little more bulk to it. Uh, Poliwrath is a water fighting type and it, it takes advantage of, you know, its attack stat got better attack stat. Poly Toad has better special attack stat. Um, and I feel like with the moves that you are more likely using in this game, you're wanting to use uh, uh, special water type moves because Surf's so good. And if you got a physical water type, you're going to have to use Waterfall, which I feel like Surf's the better move. Uh, he's going to try to dampen our fire type moves. I'm, of course, I'm not using a fire type move on your water type there, buddy. Um, but yeah, uh, if you end up using these, um, to get a Politoed, you actually do have to evolve it or trade it to evolve it. Um, you have to give it the King's Rock and then trade it, which some people it might be difficult because they don't have two, uh, DS systems. They don't have a buddy with this game. Um, oh my gosh, come on, Zuko, wake up. Um, so it might be easier to get yourself a Poliwrath because all you need is a Water Stone. Uh, but Poliwrath doesn't really learn that many good fighting type moves to take advantage of its fighting type stat or uh, type. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, go ahead and battle this guy. Whoa, you made me lose that fish. Um, so yeah, first guy had a poly uh, Poliwag. This person here. Uh, this is something they do in a lot of Pokemon games, which. I don't know if it's like a meme or something they'll put a guy that just has magic harp and it takes a long time to knock him out and it, it magic harp doesn't give you a lot of experience gyarados is a scary good pokemon though like i was saying earlier if you want to use gyarados grab this old rotting catchy one and try to you know level it up to level it up, you gotta do that, you know, switcheroo thing where you send it out and then uh, swap it out for a Pokemon that actually take care of who you're fighting. But once it evolves into Gyarados, I, I say it's worth it. Gyarados has an amazing attack stat. It's got good speed. It's got good special defense. A lot of people don't realize it, but it's got good special defense. Um, one of these are level 15, yeah, and this one's probably gonna be a little bit tougher to take out. Because it's got a little more bulk. Oh my gosh, it did nothing. Uh, I'm gonna just leer it. But anyway, uh, yeah, level 15 Magikarp. It has tackle. That's the only uh, offensive move it gets. I think it can also learn Flail. I don't know what level that is. But yeah, Flail and tackle are the only offensive options you got for Magikarp. Alright, we get a crit there, which is nice. 
That's actually very nice. And then one more magic card. And we'll just take it out. And another splash. We're just gonna one more and we will finish it off. All right, nice, nice, nice. Sploosh, okay. So, got one more Pokemon trainer down here in this area. Of course, there's one more before you go into the next cave, but you know, I only got 10 points down, but I will still use a potion. Uh, but we'll battle this guy first, and then we'll move on to the next zone. I just want to make sure to battle everyone. And this one's probably going to be a little bit tougher for us, because it is a Goldeen. Um, Goldeen's an interesting Pokemon. It's not the best. Sea King's not the best Pokemon. Uh, it is a physical attacking water type, which... It's interesting to have like a physical attacking pure water type in Gen 1 because all water moves were special in Gen 1. But, you know, now in Gen 4 where we have the special physical split, um, Seeking can actually do some stuff with Waterfall. Um, and I'm actually surprised it didn't do anything else, but, you know, Supersonic us. But, you know, we'll get level 16. Fisherman Ralph. Try to rush things. Alright, he'll also want to get your number. Nah. My own kids don't give me their phone number. I guess that's how young people are these days. That's funny. That's funny, dude. Alright, but anyway. Um, next time we will tackle Union Cave and work our way to the next city. If you like this, go ahead. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe. I will see you in the next... Pokemon video.